Should you create an audience before you launch your course? Short answer, no. All you are doing is wasting precious time. Please do not sit back and think, I'm not gonna create my course, I'm not gonna launch anything until I've got a whole bunch of people sitting around waiting for me to present my course to them. It is not how it works. You have to have something to attract people. If you don't have something, if you don't have free content, you don't have information, you don't have a product to promote, no one's going to come. There's nothing to attract people. People gather together in communities. People follow something that exists. It can be free stuff. It can be your courses. It can be what you stand for. It can be the messaging that you have out there, your personality. But in order to attract anyone at all, you first have to have that thing there for them to come and have a look at. If you do not have stuff that is going to pique people's interest, then you simply don't have anything worth following. When people say, I'm gonna wait until I've got an audience, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, is there a certain number of followers that you are waiting for before you launch? How long is it gonna to take to get that many followers? And when you do have that many followers, how do you know that they are definitely gonna buy from you? Please do not waste precious time waiting for other people to just sit there and wait for you to do something. Do something now. Create content, tell people what you have. There are billions of searches every single day on Google for your topic. There are already people that want what you have. And if you're sitting there thinking, yes, but Sarah, how do I know if I don't have an audience, what kind of stuff to put in my course? Well, first of all, please don't underestimate your expertise. You already know your thing. You're already an expert in your topic. It's your profession. It's what you do all day, every day already. You already know your thing. You don't need people who don't yet know your topic, which by the way is your target audience, to come along and tell you what you need to teach them. You are the teacher. If you enrolled in a university course and you sat in the classroom and your lecturer said, so what, what do you want me to teach you guys? I think you'd be a bit disappointed. Right? You'd expect that teacher to know what you need to be taught. And this is exactly the same thing. You know your topic. Please go and share it as it is. Now, of course, you are going to iterate that course content. It's going to evolve. You're going to add more to it. You're going to upgrade it. You're going to keep adding lessons on based on the questions that your audience, as they come along, because you have something to offer them, are going to ask you through the process of their growth and evolution as well. A course is never perfect. A course is never finished. It's a living, breathing thing that continues to evolve, change, update, and iterate for the entirety of its existence. So please don't sit there and think, well, when I have an audience, they'll tell me what my course should be about. No, <laughs> you know what your course should be about. And there are lots of other research methods that I teach in my concept of course program that teaches you how to find what the audience out there, the market are currently typing into Google to search for answers on. Do not wait until you have a certain number of likes on your social media for you to start sharing the expertise that you already have right now. All you are doing is delaying your income and delaying changing people's lives. You have to create something now, start sharing content right now so that people start coming towards you for that information and for that content. Then create your paid offerings as quickly as possible so that people have something to buy. People are already interested right now. Please don't wait 10 years until you've got a thousand followers that probably won't buy your thing anyway because by the time you've waited 10 years, they've well and truly gone somewhere else for that information. I started my course creation journey before Facebook even existed. Should I have waited five years until Facebook came along? My audience isn't anywhere near where I want it to be yet. So should I just go and delete all of my courses right now until I've got 50,000 followers on my Facebook channel? Why would I do that? I, that? You only need one person. You only need one person to buy your course. Talk to that person, deliver an amazing VIP experience, give them the results that they came to you for. That will turn into two people. That will turn into four people. You must create your thing and have something for the moths to fly to. You know, I always think of this as the light, right? The light must be on for those moths to fly to it. And if any of you have ever been camping or been outside in the nighttime, you see all of these bugs fly towards the lamp, right? If that lamp was off, there would be no critters. There would be no life fluttering around it. Please turn the light on. Please start right now. Open the store. Start saying, here's what I've got now. Here's what I can share with you right now. And people will come.
please do not wait for this magical number of likes before you start sharing your expertise, before you start making money, before you start changing people's lives. If you want to get your course out of your head, out into the world right now, come and join my Concept to Course program where I help you create your course from planning it, to doing all of the tech, to filming it, to editing it, and to finally doing all of that marketing to start building both your audience, your industry reputation, and your following all at the same time. I'll see you there.